Post-Semester Mathematics Paper 4, Algebra Equity, Lecture 14 on Nizma Ayalos by Dr. P. Ramlu, Head Department of Mathematics, MBS Government, Board Science and College, Mahamud Nagar. So today, Unit 3 Ideal will be completed. So uh, we can prepare very well. Theorem. If uh, A is an ideal of ring R and 1 belongs to A, then prove that A equal to R. If suppose A is an ideal of ring R and 1 belongs to A, then A equal to R. So, <coughs> so uh, this is very important term for proving other theorem, so be careful. That I am taking R be a ring. A is the ideal of ring R, we know that every ideal is subset of R, that means A subset equal to R. I am taking 1. Since A is the ideal of R and 1 belongs to A, I am taking the let R belongs to R and 1 belongs to A. In place of A, I am taking A. So that means uh, 1 belongs to A, R belongs to A, which implies we know that A is the ideal which implies 1 into R, R equal to R, R belongs to A. A R belongs to A, that implies A R nothing but 1 into R, that equal to R, R belongs to A. So if I take R belongs to R, and uh, you will getting a R belongs to A, which implies R of equal to A. I am writing this too. From 1 into what happen? We know that from 1, a subset equal to R from 2 R subset equal to R implies A equal to R hence proved theorem. So I required other theorem okay of, uh, this is very important for examination point of view um, let them take that R be completed with unity and A is ideal of R then R by A is filled if I know if A is maximal. Let us take R be completed with unity and A is ideal of R. The factoring R by A equal to what happened X plus A is that X belongs to R. The zero element in R by A is zero plus A where zero belongs to R. The ident element R by A is R by A is one plus A where one belongs to R. Next condition, I want to take that R by A is filled. That means uh, every non-zero element is has a uh, inverse R by A filled nothing but. We have to prove that. What can I prove? I want to prove A is maximal. That means uh, uh, there does not exist any proper ideal of which is containing A in R. Uh, that means suppose A sub R equal to B sub R, which implies either A equal to B or B equal to R, where B is the ideal of R. We have to prove this. Suppose if A equal to B, nothing to prove. If A equal to B, nothing to prove. And take that A sub R B and A not equal to B, then we have to prove that uh, B is equal to R. So that's why I am taking that a not equal to b and let x belongs to b and which implies x belongs to b, x does not belong to b because a not equal to b and a subset are equal to b. I am taking like this. My element I am taking that x belong x in b but x does not belong to a since a not equal to b and a subset of b. Which implies uh, x plus a belonging to r by a. So by definition only r by a definition. So uh, x plus a belongs to r by a in non-zero element in R by A. I want to prove that oh, so it has you know, okay I want to prove that oh, A is maximal by using it. Since R by A is filled oh, every non-zero element has inverse in R by A. R by A is filled every non-zero element has inverse in R by A. I am taking that oh, 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 this element express A is non-zero element has inverse in R by A. I want to write right. So that it was I am writing all plus A is inverse of X plus A in R by A where all plus A is inverse which implies inverse nothing but oh, if I take a is inverse of b that means a b equal to 1 here x plus alpha has inverse of a alpha plus a that means all plus a inverse of x plus a what may be which implies x plus a into alpha plus a equal to 1 plus a which nothing but oh, x alpha plus a by, by definition of coset that is uh, multiplication of coset x alpha plus a equal to 1 plus a already you know that uh, if a plus b equal to b plus a implies a minus b implies x plus or x alpha plus a equal to 1 plus a which implies 1 minus x alpha belongs to a which implies so uh, 1 minus uh, x alpha belongs to a why because a subscribe equal to b x alpha a subscribe b is nothing but uh, 1 minus x alpha belongs to b since b is the ideal of r i'm taking r by r in place of r i'm taking r by r x belongs to b which implies x alpha belongs to b so i have two elements 1 minus x alpha and x alpha belongs to b in b so applying closure property to this 1 minus x alpha and x alpha belongs to b which implies 1 minus x alpha plus x alpha that equal to this identity element to, that will be 0 1 minus 0 equal to 0 that equal to 1 1 belongs to b since b is closure property so therefore what we have here 1 belongs to b and b is an ideal of r 
which implies by previous theorem just now we proved b is equal to r therefore a is maximum ideal of r substitution condition let a is maximum ideal then we have to prove that r by a is free that means we have to prove that every non zero element r by a is has inverse element so let us that we explore solve problem so r by a so i am taking this element this is non zero element i am taking x not equal to zero here so that means x is not equal to zero then x plus also non zero element in r by a so x not equal to x does not plus which implies no general x is principal ideal of r since x is not sure so which implies x plus general x plus a is also a, a is ideal and general is principal ideal, which implies so general x plus a is a ideal of r which implies a subset of general x plus a which is subset of r since a is maximum ideal then what happen if there is not any proper ideal if there exists any ideal that must be equal to r which implies general x plus a equal to r general x plus a equal to r which implies what i am writing here there exists an element a plus a come one will also or such that all by x plus a equal to 1 all equal to 1 i one will also that equal to 1 general x all by thing but i am making all by x so a a equal to that means all by x plus 1 i am adding both side a that means all by x plus a plus a equal to 1 plus a what we know the a plus a equal to what we know a plus a equal to a implies a equal to that equal to a only in a for all a plus a if i all a plus a equal to a only all by x plus a that is equal to 1 plus a all by x plus a equal to 1 plus a which implies how to write here all by plus a into x plus a that is equal to 1 plus a all by plus a into x plus a that is equal to 1 plus a which implies what means there exist all by plus a in r by a there exist all by plus a in r by a such that all by plus a into x plus a equal to 1 plus a that means all by a is inverse of x plus a in r by a therefore every non zero element has inverse in r by a therefore r by a is filled hence proved theorem corollary every maximum ideal of a commutative ring with unity is prime ideal every maximal ideal of commutative ring with unity is prime ideal let us take the r b is a commutative ring with unity a is maximal ideal of r i want to prove that a is prime ideal a is maximal ideal of r by previous theorem which implies that r by a is filled if r by a is a field implies a is, uh, since the previous r by a is filled if r is maximal ideal we know that every field is integral domain Therefore, every field is integral domain, which is R by A is a field, which implies R by A is integral domain. Yesterday, I already proved that theorem R by A is integral domain, if I only A is prime ideal, if R by A is integral domain, which implies A is prime ideal. So, hence proved theorem. The kernels of above the above statement, the statement is need not be true. That means, so, if A is prime ideal, then A is need not be maximal ideal. Suppose, I'm, for example, I take that dead complex count that is completed with unity. Single time zero comma is the prime ideal, but single time zero complex is not maximum ideal. Why? Because there exists one proper ideal of zero complex, so that is two z two, which is contained in single time zero. It is the proper ideal. Therefore, the, it is not maximum ideal. The right single time zero is not a prime uh, maximum ideal. It is prime ideal. I to show that. Oh, Practical one that is show that or by x or of x by generator x square plus one is field to show that or of by x or of x by generator x square is field theorem already your principles you can return our previous theorem so ideal and field irreducible polynomial maximal polynomial irreducible polynomial principal ideal you can write all these principles but I am taking now by the set of all polynomial rings so, with coefficient real numbers. So, generator x square plus 1 equal to how to write here? Generator a nothing but a r such that a r belongs to here. I am writing in place of a, you are here x square plus 1 into r nothing but f of x. So, that's why f of x belongs to r of x. We know that x square plus 1 does not have zeros in the value. That means, so, if I substitute x equal to i only, we will get 0, that but uh, i does not belong to r. In r, x square plus 1 does not have any zeros. Which implies x square plus 1 is irreducible in you know, r of x. Which implies generator x square plus 1 is maximal ideal. We know that already x square plus irreducible, which implies x square plus 1 is maximal ideal. If by previous theorem, what we know, if x square plus 1 is maximal ideal, implies all of x by x square plus 1, generator of x square plus 1 is field. So, 
Or uh, result we prove that R by R of x by generate x plus one is filled. Determine all maximal and prime ideals of gen z eight x one plus z nine. First of all, we have to find the ideals. What are the factors of y two? The factors of y are one, two, four, eight. That is y not the part zero. Single time zero, single time one, two, four are the ideals of all. So uh, out of this ideal, which are prime ideal, which are maximum ideal. Single time zero is no prime ideal. Why? Because if I take uh, two into four equal to eight, eight mod eight equal to zero, two comma four equal to belong to eight, but uh, zero belongs to generator zero, but two does not belong to generator two, two four does not belong to generator two. Single time zero, so generator zero is not prime ideal. And also not uh, maximum ideal. Single time zero, there exists a generator uh, two, generator four ideals in JDI, proper ideals. So, Therefore, generator single time zero is also not prime ideal. So, uh, already we know that uh, trivial improper ideals are not maximal and prime ideal. So, is the single time zero comma single time one are the improper ideals. So, that means trivial. That means so uh, these are not maximal ideal and prime ideal. So, we have to help with the proper ideals. So, generator two is uh, prime. Already we know that. Um, uh, If I take uh, generator two is prime ideal, you can verify easily. If I take any element of two, two, okay, uh, that means uh, two into five equal to ten. That means two plus two. That means generator two is already. Why? Because prime factor is the maximum ideal. Oh, sir, prime ideal, prime factor is the maximum ideal as well as uh, prime ideal. Generator two is the uh, two is the prime factor of JDI. It is the maximum ideal as well as uh, prime ideal. What about generator four? Generator four is single time zero comma four. That means uh, I verify it is a prime ideal. If I take two into two, two into two is four. Four belongs to generator four, but four does not belong. Yes, sir. Two does not belong to generator four. Therefore, it is not principal ideal. As well as uh, if I take verify, there is the just generator two containing generator four. Generator four has uh, one zero comma four, which is containing generator two. Substitute of JDI two. There is a proper ideal generator two, therefore it is not maximal ideal. Similarly, we have to verify that uh, generator nine, generator uh, nine and zero comma one two three four uh, ideal of generator nine. Oh, so uh, sorry, ideal of generator nine. What are the factors of order nine? Zero one three and uh, nine is what zero one nine one nine is zero. These are the only factors. So, this similar zero comma similar one are the Uh, proper ideal, so improper ideal. So that means you are not maximal, like neither maximal nor prime ideals. Only prime ideal is three. This is only prime ideal as well as the principal ideals. So that means uh, generator one, actual part of generator three is, uh, or generator two comma actual part of generator one is. This or only prime ideal as well as the maximal ideals. So uh, from uh, this we can say that uh, these are the only prime ideal and uh, maximum ideals of uh, uh, generator uh, extra JDI JDI extra part of JDI and so so this and the syllabus as well as generator three sorry as well as unit three okay thank you for watching this.